guy, the injector guy, coming here with the M Power MR injector and the Stereatrix B302 syringe kits that fit this injector. This is a great injector. I'm going to do another video on how much I actually like this thing, show you some of the key features of it. But for now, I'll show you how to use the syringes. First thing you do is peel the pack back and it exposes the kit, which has your 96 inch quill tubing, your two 100 milliliter syringes, and a small spike and large spike. So the small spikes for contrast, large spikes for saline. Let me show you how to load them up. And then the key thing is, I'm gonna show you how to unload this injector too. It's a little different from the rest. So the first thing we're gonna do, get our syringes out of the kit. I need two hands for this. So what we do is just get them in there, close the clamshell doors. You'll notice there's actually indexing on both sides of the syringe. So you just line that up. It's nice you can turn the syringe while it's in the clamshell and you can turn it to, to your visualization of that indexing. I'm gonna do the same thing here, close them up. And now you have fast forward buttons that are slow buttons. And these run the opposite side. So what you do now is just press the buttons, press and hold, and it runs those up. Now, some of you, you might notice this sounds a little different from other injectors. That's because this is a hydraulic injector. Now, the hydraulic panel I have sitting right here, and that's what you're hearing. Normally, that would be in the computer room, so you wouldn't hear that. So, the first thing we want to do after this is go in and grab each of the spikes out. Now, on this injector, this side's contrast, this side's saline. It's marked right here. So, what we're going to do is take our dust caps off, put on the small spike, scoop off here. Put on our large spike. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill. I'm going to start out with contrast. Again, we're going to hold it on the angle so we see that bullseye. Press down. And then we want to fill. Now, of course, we're only shooting 20. We normally only shoot 15 to 20 of this. So we're going to take the, the slow button. We're going to press that. And we're going to hold it. Because as soon as I release, it's going to stop. I'm going to see that there's 20 in there. And shut it off. All right, take that bottle off. And then the same thing with the saline side, but since we're doing 50 cc's of saline, we're gonna press and hold, release, watch our, there's 50 right there. We can press any button, stop it. So we overfill it a little bit. Actually, I'm only at 46. Let me overfill a little bit. All right, and then now we're going to hook up our tubing. Now you're going to notice that you have the tubing. You're actually going to pull the tubing, the Y sign out of the center of the tubing. And you're going to take the long one. Now take your spike off. You can throw that away. You take your long one and connect that to the saline side. The short guy side goes to contrast side. Now you are going to notice something here on the tubing and that is remember we can turn these syringes so we get that that tension out of the line there's one-way reflux valves built in each one of these connectors so now what that means is that contrast is not going to flow into saline and vice versa but the thing is when you go to get done injecting it's not going to let you draw air in also so remember that for later so the first thing we're going to do is of course we're going to run our contrast up so we just see it hit the Y and then we're going to run our saline up and we dribble right back into our tray. So there goes our saline and get some drips. There we go. Now we're ready to hook up to the patient. They would turn the injector down and then we're all set to go. So let's say we want to connect to the patient. We got everything stuck, patient stuck. Now we just want to do the connection. Now right from this here, press arm. System is arm, I can turn the volume up, but it does tell you system is arm. And then we just press the run button. Of course, I'm gonna run it, put it in here. And all that's gonna go squirting into the tray. Now, this is where things get a little tricky. I wanna explain this to you is right now you can actually see the fingers and how they grab on to the ram. The plunger syringe fingers are grabbed onto the ram. Now I want to remove the syringes. To do that, we can't remove it. We have to run them down to remove. 
So we're gonna press the fast forward button on both of these. And because I didn't disconnect the tubing, two things are gonna happen. One, it's gonna burp some air through, which it's doing over here a little bit, but it's building up vacuum, a lot of vacuum. So when these eventually hit, these fingers hit the end, it's gonna go pow and go running up. So I want you to pay attention. Sometimes it doesn't actually go pow, just kind of shoots them up. There, there's a pow on that one. This one didn't get a pow. But just so you don't have that, disconnect before you run your rams back. And then vacuum won't build up on the injector. So that's our tip for the day. That's how to successfully use the B302 syringes. Matter of fact, I have to run the ram down a little more because I didn't like that. And there we go. All right. So give us a try. B302s, nice injector. They work well, save you some money. Have a good day.